Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a background kind of like this one. And uh, I'm also going to show you how to make it an animated GIF so it will uh, like beat like an actual speaker. So first what you want to do is hit print screen on your keyboard and then go up to file new. And it will have your width and your height. And if you uh, don't have print screen then just find out what your width and height is. Um, so we're going to hide this animation real quick. Uh, cool. There we go. Uh, what you want to do is when you start, double click this, go to background, and then uh, I'm going to change my foreground color to uh, a gray, so 333, 333. That's the gray I like, that's the gray I usually use. Um, you can use it too. Then what you want to do is fill in the paint bucket with black, and then switch to your gray. Go up to your brushes, and if you're on a CS5 that you got from me, you won't have 65. All you have to do is click a soft brush, they're all the same, and then uh, just change it the whole way up as far as it'll go then click in the middle and you'll get that so then we're gonna make a new layer new layer and then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, change it to white and then fill the background in now we're gonna get the, we're gonna be making the dots so what you wanna do is then change the, the background to white and then you make a brush with a uh, black and uh, if your background is the same size as mine I do uh, I do the 1000 soft brush and then uh, as you can see it's like kind of big in the middle if it shows up oops I don't know but just click in the middle and it'll make that and uh, it'll be black on white and then you can come up to filter pixelate color halftone and uh, you want to change everything to 20 um, to be like mine you can change it however you want but I choose 20 and then uh, it gets big in the middle and then you know fades out to smaller smaller dots um, change the blend mode from normal to uh, overlay. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your, uh, you know, it's going to be kind of bright in the middle, um, well, kind of dark in the middle from the black, and then just fade out to, uh, and it's kind of like overlaying over the background that you made here. So, uh, you know, whatever color it will, it'll look better. And then we're going to make another new layer. We're going to just fill it in with black. And then we're going to change the, it from n uh, normal to soft lights. And now uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make it, um, fade more out dark like darker on the outside so now we're done with the background now uh, what we need to do is start working on the speaker so um, make a new layer go to your uh, rectangle well elliptical marquee tool and uh, hold down shift and draw out a circle however big you want uh, that looks good and then uh, change it to a gradient right here and then make sure you're on radial and then choose the colors you want um, black as your background and then whatever color you want um, I'm going to do the gray as well because uh, I think it looks cool like that. So 333, 333. And then just drag, uh, hold down shift, click in the middle, and then drag out to the left. And there you get like a 3D ball. This is also how I did the 3D ball on my other tutorial. Um, with this still selected, make a new layer. And uh, if you end up like deselecting it, all you have to do is hold down control and click the picture and it'll select it. So make a new layer and now we're going to make a white. So change the gray to white. Make sure you still have the black. Um, it should always be black in a color. Um, it'll look the best. And then just hold down shift in the middle and then drag out to the left. So now we have um, our dark ball right here and then a white ball over it. So uh, the white ball is going to be the middle. So we're going to hold down control and we're going to hold down shift that way we can make it like move perfect and not like mess up and then just drag it into <clears throat> the edge of the ball. Make sure that the edge of the square right here is at the edge of the ball and then hit apply and then just hold down control and click the outside of your ball right here and then uh, just come up here with your arrow selected and center those like that. Just click the middle and they'll center it. Now we need the very inside, so what I do for the inside is I control J on my uh, outside one and that's going to give me the exact same thing and then I'm just going to hit control T and then I'm going to hold down shift again and then drag it but this time I'm going to drag it so like the edge of the square is kind of in the middle of the white one. Control Z. Make sure you let go of the arrow, I mean let go of your mouse before you let go of shift or you'll mess up like I did. So let go then let go of shift. So there we got that. So um, just hold down control on the white or the black, it doesn't matter. And then just center that. So we're done with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our text. So I, I choose a white text and I put in game vids. And uh, 50 is kind of good for this spot. And then just hold down control on the inside. And then you'll get like that. And then you can center that. 
and then change the um, blend mode from normal to uh, overlay and what that's going to do is it's going to make it brighter if you chose white it's going to make it brighter in the middle because there's brightness and then it's going to make it a little darker on the outsides and it just looks cool and now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select our outside box right here oh I'll circle now box and we're going to hit control J and then we're going to come up to filter blur oops blur blur <laughs> and then Gaussian blur and then we're going to change the radius to 50. You can uh, change it to whatever you think is better. But I think 50, we're going to drag it below everything. So below our, all our circles. And then we're going to double click it and then change the color overlay to uh, whatever color you want. I think the white looks cool. So I'm going to change it to white. And there it gives it like a neon, like if your speaker were to have a neon. And then you can also change the colors. And uh, you can also make a GIF where it changes colors like I have on my website gamevids.com. But uh, that's what, not what we're doing here. So um, right here, then we're going to take the little ball inside right here. We're going to select that, and we're going to select our text. We're going oops, hold down Shift and select them both. We're going to right-click and duplicate them just in case we mess up. Then we're going to hide these two, and then we're going to hit Control-E, which is going to merge these two together. So now we can turn them off or turn them on. Then what we're going to do is hit Control-J to duplicate it. And then what we're going to do is hit Control-T, and we're going to select it and shift it in just a little bit. Hold down Shift, select it, and then you know go in a little bit however much you think is good then we're gonna hit apply again make sure you're holding down shift so it's perfect hit apply then we're gonna hit control on uh, the out the little one so we're selecting it and then we're gonna center this one as well now as you can see we got like a smaller one inside the bigger one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the smaller one below the bigger one right here we're gonna turn off the big one for right now we're gonna come up to animations um, oops go to view no window uh, animation and then uh, with this one selected we're gonna turn it on and as you can see if we turn it off and then we're gonna come down here and make a new layer and then we're gonna turn this one on as well and then uh, set it to uh, 0 0.5 seconds 0 0.5 seconds and then if you hit play as you can see it like beats which uh, looks kinda cool because that's how it would go for the music so to save it as a gif we're gonna go to file save no we're not we're going to go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and then just hit Save. You don't have to change anything, and then just change it to Base, and then, yeah, then hit OK. And then if we uh, go to that, double-click it, come up, and as you can see, it beats, and uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, we're actually going to show you how to make the background. Oh, well, save it as background. So with uh, everything turned on, there we go. Have the big one if you want the small one, yeah. But uh, then just go up to File, Save As, and then go to uh, JPEG, and then uh, just name it whatever you want. So Backgrounds, make sure it's the highest quality possible, that way it looks the best. Minimize this. Right click our background, and then hit Set As Desktop Backgrounds. And since it was already there, um, nothing changed. But uh, yeah, so that's our background. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll try to help you out and uh, talk to you guys later. Have a great day.